being in South Florida, there's always the threat of storm. Yeah, and they were forecasting this as the storm of the century. There was a devastation trends down, but I know other places in South Florida got it even worse. I barely got gas. I had to wait on a really long line. It was scary, and I, that part made me like scared to not be able to get gas to even drive after if I needed to for anything. A lot of Floridians are prepared for these type of things, and they do what they need to to be able to sustain after the storm. We boarded up our house, bought lots of water, filled up water bottles just in case, you know, we were preparing for the worst. I have decided to document the way that I feel via my face. And I think I've probably aged about, you know, 10 to 15 years. So we'll let you guys decide what that looks like. We started kind of planning with our offshore team. They have been behind the scene with us and making sure that they can start the process for payroll. It was really good and I'm very glad we have them. We have um, team members that I really put in their heart for DCR and that's what it matters. The workforce was in a panic. You know, everyone wanted to know what we were going to do and how serious it was. I had to make sure that I communicated to everyone, we are taking it seriously. When are we leaving? What to do if we're impacted and what to do after we're impacted. To see people step up, no matter who they are and where they are in, in the world, in, in South Florida, and be able to come together to make things work and to help people survive a very traumatic experience. Is, it's just a testament to people's spirit to, to really be able to do that. And, no, it's heartwarming.